Hey there, I'm Arvazi, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War Beta 14. So, let's continue where we left off. I might do one more alien base assault this month for the Elerium for plasma weapons, but not right now, because too many of my officers are fatigued at the moment. Yeah, all my good officers are fatigued right now, or all my higher rank officers are fatigued. I need at least one of them back, but I'm considering doing one more alien base assault. It would likely be the last alien base assault in this game, because, quite honestly, I'm a little bit sick of alien bases now. But I need the Alerium. At least one more round of Alerium. Still, I might get the transport ships instead. That's a good source of Alerium. And these missions are really long though. Just like alien bases. We'll see what's going to happen this month. So, one more interceptor should do the trick. Maybe we'll get another crash site? I wouldn't mind. Yep, we got a crash site. Okay, this looks a little bit easier, no ethereal at least. But mutant elites and heavy floaters. Okay, but I can get away with a slightly weaker squad. Wow, my officer choice is not exactly amazing here. Okay, Sam is going to be our officer then. And let's take a look. Was close to promotion. Ahmed? He's not that close, but... He can join, or maybe I should take some other scout. Do I even have other scouts? Kind of. This guy is not exactly good. Yeah, not really. I'll just bring Ahmed, I guess. Alright, fine. He'll get to Master Sergeant eventually. Next. I'll need a medic. So, let's take a look. I could bring Alexander. Luis? I don't think I need the Master Sergeant Medic for a mission with what? Nine aliens? This guy can join, that's fine. And he can carry three ghost grenades, if I'm not mistaken. He can definitely carry at least two. Yeah, he can carry two ghost grenades. Okay, next. I'm going to need a mech trooper for this. So, who's actually available? Good question. Are they all fatigued or something? Okay. Don't tell me they are all fatigued. Bagels is fatigued for 8 more hours. I could wait 8 more hours. If I want to. Tatiana is fatigued? No, she's wounded. And where's Ariadne? She's also fatigued. So I have to either wait 8 hours or do this without a mech trooper. I should be fine without a mech trooper. This is just a scout. If this was a harder mission, I would wait for bagels. But there's no need. I'll just bring someone else. Let's see, let's bring an engineer then. And maybe a rocketeer. Do I have a decent rocketeer? Sort of. I wouldn't... Call him decent, but okay. Wow, his mobility is really bad. But I'll bring him anyway. Sure, the rocket might be useful against mutant elites and such. So, I'll need some firepower. I'm still going to bring a precision shot sniper because that's useful against these kinds of enemies. I'll need some gunners. No, not Lois. Let's see. I could bring one Master Sergeant Gunner and one Weaker Gunner. I don't actually have a Master Sergeant Gunner available, okay. Yeah. Wow, my choice is really limited here. I'll have to bring two Weaker Gunners or maybe just another Infantry. I could bring Ivan. Okay, let's bring Ivan. Make items available. Well, this is going to be an interesting mission. She can use the Plasma Nova Gun. She's going to need walker servos. Armor piercing ammo and the scope. And probably titan armor. That's 12 mobility. 87 aim and 15 hit points. Not amazing. But it will have to do. Okay, next up. Kevin. Paul sniper. Terra farmer, obviously. He'll need neural gun link and the scope. And I'll give him a backup medkit, just in case. 
Okay, and the blaster. Looks good. Next up, Ivan. He's going to need high aim, so I'll maximize his aim. Scope, general gun link. And enhanced beam optics, why not? That's going to be a pulse rifle. And titan armor. So, looks good. 131 aim. That's pretty crazy on infantry. Next up, this guy. He's going to need a scope for sure. To get extra aim with the rocket launcher. Titan armor. Wow, his mobility is going to be terrible. Even with walker servos. Hmm. Regular rocket or shredder rocket? Good question. Very good question. I actually prefer a shredder rocket. Instead of extra regular rocket. Yeah, I do. As for the weapon, plasma storm gun because his mobility is just awful and he doesn't have javelin warheads or whatever they are called, javelin rockets. Pretty mobility is still not amazing, but at least it's better than it was before. So, Holly, Titan Armor. Actually, she doesn't really need Titan Armor. 19 hit points with Aegis Armor. She doesn't have Bombard, so Plasma Storm Gun. And she could take Ghost Grenades. That's actually a much better idea than Alexander taking them. He can take Medkits instead. Okay, because it's not like I'll need 9 grenades for a mission with only 9 aliens. Wait, she's not psionic, really? Change of plans. I thought she's psionic, but apparently not. Okay. Well, I could still replace some of these grenades with a chem grenade. Yeah. Alright, chem grenades can still be useful against mutant elites. So next up, Sam. Titan armor, because he's an officer and all that. Scope, probably chitin plating. Scope first. Okay, chitin plating and enhanced beam optics for some extra damage. Okay, next up, Ahmed. Titan armor. Regular weapon, so pulse rifle. He doesn't need the carbine. I could give him the carbine, I suppose. Only 15 hit points, so kiting plating, scope, and what else? Some side grenades? Yeah, they might be useful, especially with 18 mobility. So, Alexander. No titan armor for him, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. I don't have any more pulse rifles? Yeah, I do. Okay, he's going to be a little bit squishy. I'll need to be careful. Maybe I should steal Titan armor from someone, like from Sam or something. He'll have 17 hit points with Titan armor. What about secondary heart? Does he have secondary heart? No, he doesn't. Okay, so I kind of want the Titan armor then. I can steal Titan armor from someone else. Or can I? I guess I can steal it from the Rocketeer? From Ivan? 18 hit points? Yeah, 18 hit points is still solid. But 12 hit points is just way too low at this stage of the game. Okay, that looks a little bit better. And I think we're ready. Alright, let's go. Should be an interesting mission. Without a mech trooper. But I should be fine. I might actually augment one of my low rank soldiers just to have another backup mech trooper maybe we we'll see after the mission obviously Brazilian authorities have requested our help so that's where we're going next we've locked in the coordinates of the alien crash site fortunately the civilian population well, let's get started come on so which map is this Fairly open map. I like that. So, dog of light. 
make sense on this map. And Kevin can stay up here. Use steady weapon. Actually, let's not do that yet. Right, no mech trooper. I need to be a little bit more careful than usual. No aliens too close to us. That's good. Let's move over here. Just to scout around. See if there are any groups close. No. Looks safe. Alright, let's move then. You can go here. Some. This is the first mission in a very long time with two infantry. I don't even remember the last time I used two infantry. Steady weapon. Must have been really long time ago. <coughs> Question is, how many mutinelites and how many heavy floaters are there in this mission? <laughs> I'm not sure which I prefer. More mutinelites? Or more heavy floaters? They are both really dangerous for different reasons. I think I actually prefer to fight mutant elites because you can destroy their cover then flank them. You can't really do that w with heavy floaters unless they stay on the ground instead of flying. And heavy floaters with tactical sense and the bonus for flying are really really annoying to hit. So yeah, I actually prefer to fight mutant elites than heavy floaters at this stage of long war. And definitely though. So, steady weapon, Overwatch. Where's that closest group? Come on, show your ugly faces. Okay, they are ahead of me. That might be the command pod, because that pointed towards the UFO. Or they might be right next to the UFO. I might have to mob Kevin, because... He might not get line of sight from where he is. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to move him. But let's move everyone else first. Like so. You can go here. And... You can go here. And some. So, do I want to move Kevin or stay here for now? I suppose he could stay here for now. I'm just not too excited about that idea. Oh, Holly. Where is she? No, sure, they moved. Overwatch. Still nothing. But I'll probably see something once I move here. No? Okay. I don't mind. That's affirmative. I can position myself properly before I trigger anything. That's always nice. So Sam can go here. Kevin will stay where he is. I can use steady weapon on my rocketeer. Just in case I decide to use the rocket on the next turn. And Holly. Holly should be in the front because no bombard. Only master surgeons get that. And that's it. Steady weapon overwatch. I would prefer to kill the patrol before engaging the outsiders. Oh, here they come. They were inside the UFO. That happens sometimes. At least I didn't trigger the outsiders. Let's get some nice damage in. 13 damage, nice. Two infantry with the overwatch build, or whatever you want to call it, are actually pretty good. Shame some didn't get any hits. But this is a pretty good target for a grenade and then shader rocket. I like that. Yeah, this will destroy cover for two different enemies. For two different mutant elites. Maybe for three different mutant elites for that guy in the back. Let's find out. Okay, now I can use a shader rocket. And then do as much damage as possible. I like that idea. So shader rocket. I'll hit the heavy floater too, but I mostly want to hit the mutants. 0 0.7 scatter because I used steady weapon. I should be able to kill these two mutant elites easily. Maybe even the heavy floater too. We'll find out. Let's see, can Sam shoot anything? Yes, he can. Okay. 
He can shoot twice as long as he doesn't move. What about that heavy floater on the right? No. So 86%? Oh, this will be a kill. Maybe someone who needs experience can get that kill? Like my medic? Or Ahmed? Yeah, that's not a bad plan. Let's take a shot. 75% chance to get a kill? Nope. Okay, but I got holo targeting. Adjusting sights. Can my gunner shoot anything? She can shoot the heavy floater, probably. Maybe I should suppress that heavy floater because I can't kill it. I'll decide later. So, take a shot with my medic. I could also use a ghost grenade or a smoke grenade. That's probably a better idea. If I use a smoke grenade, they will probably throw some grenades and that's fine. I'm mostly using indestructible cover. Ivan can't shoot from back here, unfortunately. He will have to mob. Alright, let's mob. 100%. Okay, that's better. Also 88% on that heavy floater. I still want to get a kill on someone who actually needs experience, but that's not going to happen from the looks of it. And I still got Kevin, and Kevin has double tap. So... And I have precision shot. I could actually target this heavy floater. I might be able to kill the heavy floater and both mutant elites. Okay, 15 critical. Now I can take a shot with my gunner. That's only 47%, but that's almost a coin flip. It's not totally terrible. Nope, that's a miss. I have no idea what she was aiming at, but not at the heavy floater. I could let my medic take a shot, but that's a little bit risky. I wanted to use that smoke grenade. Alright, let's not take any shots yet. I'll take a shot with Ivan. No, I'll take a shot with Sam first. Ivan has higher aim. 96%. 86%. Well, I need to kill this mutant elite one way or the other, so that's a kill. No longer a threat. I got one more shot. So, shoot the other mutant elite. Oh, that's a kill. Nice. How much damage was that? Oh yeah, 19 critical. So, 88%. The heavy floater is also shredded. So, this should be nice damage. It won't be a kill, but that's the only target I got. Okay, 9 damage, I'll take it. Now I could shoot the heavy floater with Kevin, or I could shoot this one. I'm still considering taking a shot with my medic. Then I can use disabling shot. I think I'll do it. I can still use disabling shot on the other heavy floater. Oh, this is only 34%, probably not worth it then. Alright, I'll kill that heavy floater then. And throw a smoke grenade. Sounds good to me. So, smoke grenade. Like this. Sam and Ivan will be fine. Now the heavy floater will either throw a grenade or he will shoot Sam. Because Sam is the easiest target. The mutant will shoot Ivan. Okay, 10 damage. What is the heavy floater going to do? Yeah, just shot Ivan. Okay. He did have full cover. But that was quite a lot of damage. Now. How do I want to start this? I can flank that heavy floater. But if I move like this, I might trigger the outsiders. That would be bad. Let's not do that. Yeah, that would be really bad. I'll just shoot the mutant elite. Yeah, okay, let's shoot the mutant elite. Nice, 12 critical. Can I kill both? I should be able to. 88%. Ivan's aim is just insane. I should use him more often or something. Okay, 8 damage. Now I can take a shot with my medic or something. Nope, only 27%. I should heal Ivan then. Who oh, can get a kill? 41. I could just fire a rocket. 41% is low. 
Who else needs experience here? My scout needs experience. 48%? Nope, that's a miss. Okay. Oh, I can take a shot from all the way back here. 57. And that's a miss again. Really? I realized that wasn't very high chance to hit, but that's quite a few misses now. 51%. How many times can I miss? Okay, that's a kill. At least I got experience for someone who needed it. What about that mutant elite then? I probably can't kill the mutant elite now. Although... No, I missed the first one. I'll just hunker down now. No, I can't hunker down anymore, right? Can I do something about that mutant elite? Maybe, maybe not. I can take one more shot, but that's about it. I can suppress him. That's kind of useful. I can't kill him, so might as well suppress him then. He might still move, but that will give me a shot. I can throw a grenade. I think I prefer Overwatch in this case. I could give Ivan Ghost Grenade. Maybe I should. I'm almost considering it, to be honest. Or I could throw another smoke grenade. I could give him Mind Merge for extra damage reduction. He's like a waste of a Ghost Grenade. It definitely does. But it's the safest thing to do. Alright, I'll use the Ghost Grenade. There's only one Mutant Elite and two Outsiders left in this mission. So saving that Ghost Grenade doesn't actually make any sense. Done. So what is he going to do? He must be confused about life, being suppressed by an invisible soldier. Alright, he's on Overwatch now. So I should probably trigger that then. By moving my scout. If I dash like this, I shouldn't trigger the outsiders. Okay, this will trigger the reaction shot. Then I can just throw a grenade with Holly. And kill the muton. And then I can take care of the outsiders. Alright, let's do it then. I'll throw the grenade first. This should be an easy kill. That's affirmative. This will be a guaranteed kill, so I can afford to move like this. I want to destroy that cover. Oh, there is something inside. There's a heavy floater inside, okay. No, that's a muton inside. Interesting. I totally missed that guy. But I'm still fine. Let's kill that muton. Who wants a kill? This guy? 63%? 60% chance to crit? I'll take a shot anyway. That's a kill. Okay, good. Now, Mutant Elite. I still want to heal Ivan. So... I need to move him. To actually do that. I don't have Paramedic. On this guy, so... I can only heal once per turn. Like this. Okay, reload. This will be the reload turn, I suppose. Reload. Kevin needs to reload as well. And the turn is done. So, one more heavy floater, in, I mean, one more muton. And two outsiders, I think. And he ran away. Okay. Hmm. If I move like this, I'm just going to trigger the outsiders. Which I don't necessarily want to do. But I might have to. Let's reload everything first. And move a little bit closer. I can heal Ivan one more time if I want to. I guess I should. Then I'll position Ivan and Sam right next to the force field, then open the force field. And get Holly a little bit closer, I suppose. So you can move here. Oh, great. They saw me when I moved. Alright, that's still fine. What can I do then? I could use Mind Fray. No, that's 0%. I can use the rocket. I can actually kill one. Yeah, I can kill one. I can throw a grenade first. Or even use a rocket launcher. But a grenade will be better. 
Just need to be careful about where I move. Let's move here, then I'll throw a grenade. Destroy his cover. Yeah, this one will die for sure, guaranteed. I might even be able to kill the other one, but probably not. Alright, so this is a granted kill, more or less, even if I miss terribly. I do have precision shot. I'm just trying to figure out if I can get a kill for someone who needs experience. Probably not. Well, let's do it like this then. I'll take a regular shot. So that's 10 critical. I do have double tap. Now I'll take a shot with my Rocketeer. That's 61% chance to get a kill. And that's a kill. Nice. So that's another kill for this guy. And now I can use precision shot. No, I can't use precision shot. Right, I can't actually see that on the outsider. Kevin doesn't have line of sight to the outsider. That's interesting. Alright, whatever you say. That mutant is still in the back. I did not forget about that. Reaction shot. Now, the outsider might actually hit someone because their aim is ridiculously high. But he would have to get a crit to actually kill someone. Oh yeah, he's flanking me, isn't he? More reaction shots. That's a kill. I got pretty lucky there, I suppose. But I had enough hit points to survive that. 19 hit points. So, Muton. Where's that Muton? I'll move in with my scout first. In case he's on Overwatch. He's not on Overwatch. The meld is still there. Now I can use precision shot. Unless I don't have line of sight. I do have line of sight. Okay, 85% chance to crit. Then I can try to get a kill for my scout. He just needs to hit. 75% chance to get a kill. What? Really? 6 damage? Come on, dude. Well, never mind. I'll just get the kill for Kevin. <laughs> He's done. I don't think I got any promotions from this, but the mission is done. I got some decent experience for my Rocketeer, and I don't use Rocketeers very often. Not that they are bad, but they are a bit of a one-trick pony, and if that trick doesn't work very well for whatever reason, they aren't very useful. How much Alerium? Not a whole lot, but every little bit helps. Let's finish Precision Plasma Epos. Also, did I start making another cyber suit just to have a backup? No, but I should do that. You know, just in case one of my mech troopers actually gets killed. And in the late game, there are a lot of enemies with hit ammo with incredibly high damage. So I will make another cyber suit just in case I lose mine. In beta 15, it will be possible to reclaim a cyber suit and rebuild it. But right now, if you lose a mech trooper, you will generally lose the cyber suit too. So I need to have a backup cyber suit. I could get. Uh, what was it? Some mech trooper items made. Some of the items that I don't have. Electropulse, or maybe the Proximity Mine Launcher, it's very very cheap, so I'll make this just as backup. 20 meld kind of hurts, but whatever. Electropulse is a little bit more expensive. I think I'll pass on that for now. Anything else? Oh, I could make one item for a sheep if I decide to use it again, a damage control pod. And stack that with core armoring, which gives them resilience. My alloy sheave is available again. I'm just not really using it. Okay, precision plasma weapons research is done. Now I can make a plasma sniper rifle and re reflex rifle. And that foundry project was a project for extra plasma damage. However, it requires plasma dragon, which requires heavy plasma weapons. So I can't actually start that project yet. I need to research heavy plasma weapons. Which I was going to do anyway. Okay, so how many heavy alien weapons do I actually have? Because I need a heavy alien weapon for the plasma sniper rifle. Where are they listed anyway? They are listed somewhere here. Alien weapons, where are you? So 
somewhere down here. Not sure if I want to look through this entire list, to be honest. And yeah, I have a lot of crap. I've not been selling it because, well, I didn't really need the money, but I can sell this any moment I want. Sell all that crap. Where the heck are my weapons? Alien heavy weapon. Two alien heavy weapons only, right. I should consider capturing some mutant elites or something. Not that it's easy to capture mutant elites, but I could probably do it in some of these missions. Anyway, plasma sniper rifle for sure. And I'll save the other heavy weapon for a plasma dragon. I'm going to need at least one more heavy alien weapon because I'll need one plasma dragon for the foundry project. And then I'll need one more plasma dragon to actually use it. Okay, plasma sniper rifle that uses heavy weapon. The reflex rifle uses regular alien rifles, so... Yeah, like this. This is a scout sniper weapon. I've not been using these weapons, but I'm going to start because this is a significant damage upgrade for my scouts. So that's mostly the reason why. Okay, get that made and keep scanning. Some gene mods are almost done. Some side training is almost done. Let's send some more people to the gene lab. What do I need? Secondary heart on. Oh, William could maybe use something here. Adaptive bone marrow? I don't think he really needs it. Well, let's check for secondary heart first. I think most of these people have secondary heart already. Don doesn't really need anything. Yeah, I think most of these people have secondary heart. Emmanuel doesn't. Okay, she can grab that then. One more person. Lois doesn't have it. Okay, secondary heart. And keep scanning. RPT is back. Side training. Success. Awesome. Let's see if we can send anyone else. Yep, Sarah. RPT. RPT has 72 well, so that's pretty good. I'm going to train him first. He will be pretty good with Saipanic. I have quite a few soldiers with Saipanic now. Okay, small scout. I wouldn't mind another crash site, actually. But I'm not sure if two interceptors with zero kills will be enough to shoot this thing down. If I fail to shoot it down now, I'll send my firestorm. Yeah, I might have to abort. If I take more than 50% damage, I'll abort. Come on. And I destroyed it. Alright, whatever. Keep scanning then. I will finish Vortex Armor in four days. Large Abductor. Okay, we're doing abduction missions then. But that's going to happen in the next part. So, thanks for watching this one. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. And I'll see you next time.